Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get out of clouds when you get into them accidentally. Um, there's one major rule that you need to think about when you get yourself into clouds accidentally, and there's two methods to get yourself out of them safely. And I'm going to go over that in the next several slides. Okay, how to survive if you accidentally enter clouds. So I just want to reiterate something that I uh, posted back maybe a month or so ago about the fatality rate for VFR flight into clouds. Uh, visual flight rules into instrument meteorological conditions or clouds has the uh, highest weather-related causes of accidents each year. Uh, the fatality rate is about 86% in non-commercial fixed-wing aircraft. And similarly, and it's not just the VFR pilots that succumb to VFR flights into IMC, approximately 33% of these types of accidents involve IFR-rated pilots. So the number one rule for survival if you find yourself accidentally getting into clouds is don't panic. If you're flying VFR, and it inadvertently get into IMC conditions, uh, such as clouds, the number one rule is don't do anything fast or sudden. Otherwise, you could find yourself quickly into an unusual upset attitude or descending spiral and or a stall spin situation. So, how do you get yourself out of clouds if you're accidentally flown into them? If you're flying VFR and inadvertently fly into clouds, make a 180 degree standard rate turn back out of the clouds while maintaining altitude. Use your turn, turn coordinator to ensure you make a standard rate turn. You don't want any steep um, bank angles when doing this. 15 to 20 degrees is typically all you need to do uh, for a bank angle. If you don't have a turn coordinator, again, 15 to 20 degrees of bank is all you need. And while you do that, keep the um, um, altitude um, at the same altitude. And then just be patient. Allow yourself to fly out of the clouds that you inadvertently got yourself into. Now, what happens if you get yourself into clouds that you've actually climbed up into? Well, if you're flying VFR and inadvertently climb up into the clouds, maintain level wings, reduce your power, lower the nose of the aircraft, and then begin a gentle descent, keeping the wings level. Then again, be patient to allow yourself to fly down out of the clouds you've inadvertently climbed into. I'm going to talk about um, two situations that um, often happen when you get into clouds inadvertently and you don't react properly. The first is a graveyard spiral. If you enter clouds and your eyes do not immediately shift to your instruments, you could panic and or get distracted and your plane could start banking. If you're instead looking out the windscreen while in the clouds, you won't see any visual cues to tell you that you're banking and you will think you're still wings level. Without an increase in back pressure on the yoke, your plane will start descending as your bank continues to increase. And this is when you inadvertently descend, have a descending turn, and you can, things can get out of hand very quickly. When you finally glance at your altimeter and realize that you're descending, while thinking you're still wings level, you're going to pull back on the yoke while not leveling the wings. This is going to steepen your descent rate and tighten the spiral. You'll pull back even harder at that point, further tightening your graveyard spiral until the aircraft suffers structural damage and you impact the Earth's surface. Uh, keep in mind with graveyard spirals, you actually have airspeed over the wing and, even in, uh, and it's increasing as you, as you tighten that spiral uh, during, again, this graveyard spiral. So how do you recover from a graveyard spiral? Reduce your power to idle, level your wings, slowly pull back to a nose level altitude or attitude, Add power once you've recovered and your airspeed returns to normal. Uh, the other scenario that often happens when you get into clouds, and if you're not paying attention, you get into a stall spin situation. So if you enter the clouds and your eyes do not immediately again shift to the instruments, you could panic or get distracted and your plane could start to pitch up and slow in airspeed. If you don't notice the slowing airspeed and, in and increasing pitch and do not lower the nose quickly, your airplane will eventually suffer a stall. If a stall happens in the clouds, it will most likely be an uncoordinated stall, meaning that one wing is more stalled than the other. You've got yaw motion going on. Uh, this will result in the spin, and unless control corrections are not made quickly, the aircraft will impact the Earth's surface. Um, unlike a graveyard spiral, you have relatively little airspeed when in a spin. So if you look at your airspeed indicator and see that's very low, uh, you're, um, you're most likely in the spin situation. So how to recover from a spin, it goes back to the acronym PAIR. Power to idle, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite the spin, and elevator forward. And you're going to continue to keep these pressures until um, the spin stops, and then you'll start a recovery. You'll add some power back in uh, and start a gentle climb. So how do we prevent accidentally flying into clouds? Well, first and foremost, get a full weather briefing before you go out to fly. Know what you're going to be potentially getting yourself up against on that flight. 
Number two, pay attention to the clouds on the horizon. As you're flying uh, to your destination, see if clouds are right on the horizon. If they are, you may want to start getting yourself turned around. You can either turn around, as just mentioned, and return to your departing airport or a nearby one and land the plane and wait till the clouds get better, or descend in altitude to fly below the clouds as long as you're not scud running. Um, if, you're, if the clouds are getting lower and lower and you're just getting lower and lower, eventually you're gonna probably have controlled flight into terrain. So that's how you get yourself out of clouds if you inadvertently get into them. Hopefully you'll never find yourself into that, getting into that situation, but if you do, those are the ways to get out of them. Um, also, I hope you understand a little bit better about a graveyard spiral and spins and how to recover from them. Anyways, hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified on my next video.